Mrs Harpetter, second question. An immediate challenge for the next Palmerston North MP will be the ongoing closure of the Manawatu Gorge Road. What can you do about the issue and what would you like to see the government do? Well, I think what we've heard, I don't know if you can hear me, but what we've heard is Mr Lees Galloway would like to put a tunnel in to the cost of a billion dollars, <laughs> which I think if we look at the 15.6 <laughs> billion that we've already got for Labor's proposals, plus this one, which hasn't gone through their caucus, I think we'll have a, a, a big problem. What we really need to do is work with our, um, <laughs> in terms of that we've got the mayors, so the mayor, John O'Neiller, um, Ian McKelvey and the Mayor of Tararua went down to Wellington um, with, uh, to see Minister Joyce to talk about what was happening with the, the gorge. I think what needs to happen going forward is we need to keep those parties involved and engaged. And the local MP should be there as well, but it is really about keeping the region involved. Because if the river belongs to us and the gorge belongs to us, but it also belongs to the, the region around it. And it's up to the region around it to help support that going forward. So. My, what I will do if I'm elected as MP was make sure that we're looking at the two alternate routes. So we've got the saddle road and the track road, and we need to make sure that they are upgraded and they are roads that we can um, be proud of and have our trucks going over on a daily basis. Talking to people that live on the Paya Tua track, they say it's very hard living up there now. And I think we need to make sure that that's on the radar, that those roads are repaired. And the, and the gorge will be repaired at some stage, but what we've got to do is really bank on these two alternate routes for the time being because it's not anything else we can do about it. Mr Lees Galloway, your response. Uh, you could probably tell from my grin that I've heard this um, claim that, uh, that I want to build a tunnel before. Um, I challenge anybody in the room, including Leone, to actually find uh, when and where it was that I, that I said that. I've never made such a claim uh, in, in any of the time that we've been debating uh, the issue of the Manawatu Gorge. What I have said uh, is that there are examples of roads uh, that are of uh, less economic significance than the Manawatu Gorge, where significant engineering pro projects have been undertaken. And I use the example of the Oterra viaduct, where in 1999, $25 million was spent on building that viaduct. Now, I don't think a viaduct or a tunnel is actually the answer for the Manawatu Gorge, but if $25 million could be spent on that road, why are we not looking at what the options are uh, for the Manawatu Gorge? Now, in the, in the actual near future, what we have to do is to clear the gorge and then re repair the road, which is uh, suffering under the weight of that slip, but we also have to make sure at the very least uh, that the alternate routes are a better plan B than what we have at the moment. I, spoke down, I sat down and spoke with uh, NZTA the other day, uh, and there has been a project drawn up to improve the saddle road. They're only talking about spending four or five million dollars on it, uh, which probably uh, isn't enough to deliver us what we need, uh, but they are talking about bringing in some new passing lanes and sorting out some of the corners, so that it's not quite as treacherous a journey as it is at the moment. What this all comes down to is the fact that National's Roads of National Significance policy is totally focused on urban roads. Regions and rail get completely overlooked and we will never be prioritised so long as National transport policy remains in place. And one last thing I'd like to say. Leone said, quite rightly, that the local MP should be involved in those discussions. I wasn't invited uh, by the Transport Minister to be involved in those discussions. Pretty partisan decision, if you ask me. Thank you, Mr. Lee. <laughs>